And the topic today is faith. You know, it is written in Ecclesiastes, to everything there is a season and a purpose under the heaven and under the sun. You know, I always say that with except for one thing. You know, there's a time and a season for everything except one thing. You know what that one thing is? Prayer. Prayer should be constant. Prayer should be instant. Prayer should be day and prayer should be night. Yeah. I don't care if you're at home. I don't care if you're at work. Yeah. I don't care where you are. There's a time and a season for everything. But faith and prayer, they're one. And they were, they, we just have to focus yeah. and keep our prayer life intact. Yeah. Because if our prayer life intact isn't intact, where would our faith be? For faith comes by the hearing of the word and through the Holy Spirit, through God, God gives us hearing through the word. Hallelujah. So one thing we all have to focus on is our faith. It says here, there's a time to be born. Yeah. How long does it take for a, 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 a woman naturally to have a child? Nine months. Nine months. Nine months. That's correct, right? Nine months? Yes, nine months. Now, through these nine months, this is a set time for God that God has placed on, on, on women. It doesn't matter if you have faith for your baby to come in one month. God has a set time for your child to come within nine months. But you want me to tell you something? The devil has plans also, you know. The devil has plans to kill, to kill and destroy your future, your destiny, your child, your family, it doesn't matter. The devil has plans to destroy you for he's around like a roaring lion, willing and trying to destroy you. And we do not have the faith to speak with our mouths the things to come against the plan of the enemy. But once we have faith in Jesus Christ to condemn every foul spirit and every tongue that rises up against us, that come against us, I tell you this, that Satan has no power. But once we have faith in Jesus Christ, no plan or weapon formed against us shall prosper. Nothing that the enemy throws at us shall prosper. For God hears every word that we say. But I ask you this, when last... Have anything happened to you that you asked for from the Lord? When last have you asked God? God, I want, I want this new love again. God, I want, I want, I want a wife. I want a husband. I want a, I want a boyfriend. I want a girlfriend. God, I want money. I want my finances to be free. I want my debt to be free. Oh, when last have you asked God for something and it did not happen? But when it did not happen, did you question God and ask Him? God, why did I not receive the things that I have asked you? Because I believe my faith is strong. As Pastor says, faith cannot be conjured up at an instant. Uh, uh, sorry, it cannot be conjured up. Faith has to be instant. There are no seven steps to faith. It may have books on that, but faith has to be instant. Do you remember the centurion? God said there is no greater faith that he has seen through all of Israel. And because that he had believed, he, he, God did not have to go to do. God was going, you know, God was willingly going to heal his servant. But you know, he said, no, I am not even worthy for you to even enter to where I want you to come. But speak the word and it shall be so. How many of you speak to your situations? How many of you speak to, to, to for your faith? How much, how much do you speak for all these things to come to pass? Or you just say, oh Lord, Lord, I said, I'm so sorry. Please, God, I want this to happen for God. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Because somewhere in myself, I doubt. And I tell you this, once there is a single doubt in your spirit, once there is a single doubt in your heart, nothing is going to happen for you. Because if there is one simple doubt, where is any of the faith going? Jesus. Jesus is here watching you. It doesn't matter what you do now. But all you have to do is realize that God is listening to every single thing that you say. What is in your heart today? Is your heart filled with faith? When Jesus Christ comes, he said, will he find faith in the earth? Will he find faith in you when he comes back? Sometimes, I'll be honest, I question, not question, but I doubt sometimes myself. I never say it with my mouth, but I say it in my heart. And I just know when I doubt myself. We have the spirit of a certain man, we can feel it. Did you doubt the Lord when something did not happen instantly when you asked for it? We have the trust in God's time. And remember Elijah. When, the, when, they, when he was calling the fire down. Remember all the servants of Baal, they were shouting, they were crying, they cut themselves and all this type of stuff. But nothing happened. God had a set timing. As soon as all of their rumblings had stopped, Elijah cried out and prayed to God and fire came down from heaven. He had his faith. You know, he knew for a fact 
the fire was going to come down. It didn't matter how much they cried out to their false pagan God because he had faith that Jesus Christ was going to come and answer his prayers. He had faith and his faith, you know what? It wasn't planned. It was instant. It was instant that his faith came and God answered his prayers as soon as he prayed and fire came down. So where's our faith when we pray to God today? I know our husband may be driving us crazy. I know our wife may be driving us crazy. You know, I know that we have struggles and I know that we have issues. But where is our faith today? It said that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. But you know what it also says? Faith without actions is dead. So if you do not do anything to show your faith, what substance is there to even back up on that? You can say, Lord, as Pastor says, Lord, let your will be done. People say that every day. Lord, let your will be done. But where's the faith in that? You have to declare and say, Lord, I want this to happen. God, I believe this is going to happen. God, I declare that sickness has no authority. I declare that pain has no authority over me. God, I have faith. And you that I'm here right now, and you know what? You know when you will have that faith. Because after that, you will not stress with that situation. You wouldn't have any thought to conjure up in that situation and say, you know what? I'm not going to focus on that to get stress. If we pray for something and we continuously get way down in stress, I tell you this, that there's a spirit behind every situation in your life. Everything that comes against the plan of God is a spirit behind it. Whether it be depression, whether it be loss in finance, whether it be aches or pains, there is a spirit, a wicked spirit behind us. And we have to speak out with our mouths. We have to speak out and cry out to God with our mouths. Jesus, in faith. Jesus, we believe. In faith. We have to believe. You know, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3 says, Though faith we understand that the worlds were formed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. If you have faith, if things are even in existence, heaven has approved what you have called for. It shall be formed and it shall be made, and God will not be the one to embarrass you once your faith is there. You will not be ashamed and you will not be embarrassed because He will make it happen for you. Yeah. He will make it happen for you. I don't care what your friends say. I don't care what your mommy say, your grandma say. I don't care what your family say. If God said it and you are faith, if God said it, it's going to happen. I don't care what you're going through in here today. If God said it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But where is your faith today? Where is our faith today? We focus on the wrong things. God said, don't worry about the things that is going to happen. Tomorrow has enough worry in itself. Don't worry about the clothes that you're going to wear. Don't worry about the food that you're going to drink or the, the, the food that you're going to eat. Don't worry about these things. But we stress in our mind, God, how you pay my light bill? God, how you pay my phone bill? God, where can find food for tomorrow? God, I can't even feed my children. I don't have kids, but I know plenty, plenty of people with that issue. And trust me, once you see keep the kingdom of heaven first, yeah. God will provide all these things to you. God will give you what your heart desires once you believe. Now I tell you, it has to be faith. It has to be faith. It can't just be, as they say, air talk. Or pastors say, lip syncing. It cannot be any of that. You have to have faith. You have to have faith. Without faith, it is impossible. You know what it is. Anything that you do, if you don't have faith, what is it to God? God is not even aware of what you're doing if there is no faith in it. When we praise God, where's our faith? Where is our heart when we praise God? We sing songs in Him every day, of course. But when we sing our songs, are we having issues with our family? Are we saying, man, I hate you, but we come to church every day and we say, man, God, I give you the praise. Are you offering? God said, if you have an issue with your brethren, leave your offering and go back to that brethren and make things right and then come back and bring your offering. Don't bring that offering if you have an issue with that brethren and say, you know what? I don't care what you're doing right now. So, that big long word, but you know, people like say, and then I'll come to church and bring what you say, God, take my offering. That offering is something you have to make things right with, with those people. Yeah. But trust me, it doesn't matter what you face, my friends. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Because every one of us go through situations every day. Every one of us has things that cause our faith to diminish, to, to cause our faith to fall. But if that wasn't the truth, but God, when God came, He said that we will go through trials and tribulation. If we didn't, that, then, he, then He lied. And God didn't lie because every one of us go through something every day. Whether it be family, money, stress. It's something. But are you going to let your stress burden you down to things that you can't even give God the praise that he's worthy of receiving? 
And you know, it says, but I was looking at Ecclesiastes 2, it says, um, there's a time to plant and there's a time to pull up. You know, if you have faith, right, you have an apple and you have an orange. You want to plant that orange or plant that seed of the apple and say, I plant you here, but I have faith, I'm going to get a peach. Now you know God has designed a system, a code, and a timing for every single thing. But why would you want to go against what God says to try and let your own will go in place? What you have to believe in is God's timing. What you have to believe and have faith in is God's word. Anything that is in God's word, whose word is it? The plan of the enemy. So just believe in our faith in Jesus. Whether we have faith, whether we have pain, don't let your pleasure be for the enemy, but let your pleasure be for Jesus Christ in all things that you do. And I tell you this as a real point of perspective, Every one of issues. If you look at the Muslims, it doesn't matter what issue they have, they bow down when they are on and they praise their God. But we can't even praise our God because we get too busy with work. We let our frustrations get us, we let our things get us that cause us to want to go away from doing anything. But trust me, don't let that get to you. Don't let people get to you. Because if people get to you every single day, don't try, don't try paint over someone when they've already, when they've already shown their true colors. Why are you trying to paint over that person there and show that true colors? So just have a little faith. Not in me now, but have a little faith in God. Because you know what? God says, you're a mountain away. You're a mountain away. You're a distance away. But he's going to go around it and stand there waiting on you. But will you come to him? God has his arms open. Can you even see God or are you letting your issues, your stress, cause you not to want to praise and worship God. Don't let it be. But have a little faith and keep on smiling because sometimes you all have a frown. Smile a little. Don't look so down. Don't look so stressed. Smile a little. You know, all you all are beautiful, you know. All you all are, you know, and it doesn't matter what age you is. I'm 22, I get old. I'm going to be handsome forever. <laughs> so, you know, don't, don't, don't keep your face frowning because you only can get yourself up. So that's the word I have for you. And God bless you all. Just keep in faith and trust in Jesus. Through faith, because without faith, it is without faith it is impossible to do what? Please without faith, it is impossible to do what? Please so please, please God today. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a cheer. Yeah. Wonderful word.